Hello, and I'm the game here. Welcome to World Marvel Spider Man. In the last episode, we took on Hammerhead and he and Song get shot, and then Song get revived, and now a lot is going on. In this episode, we're going to move on to our last piece of the DLC that we have Silver Lining. The, this is the last one that I'm reiterating myself. Let's just get started. Mary Jane Watson, Associate Editor. Begin research notes. What started as a museum heist a few days ago has turned into a brutal assault on the city, and the casualties keep piling up. Last night, after almost killing Magia Don Hammerhead, Captain Yuri Watanabe was forced into administrative leave. Sources say she told the chief, this won't stop me. Note, follow up on this later. Feels like this isn't the end of her story. Meanwhile, Hammerhead, who was pronounced dead at the scene, was revived and escaped custody. Police are searching for him, but there are no solid leads. His men are continuing to target Sable, weaponry, and vehicles, including something called Project Olympus. From what we can gather, Project Olympus is an Oscorp and Sable-funded initiative. Bio-enhancement technology meant to transform people into indestructible super-soldiers. Hammerhead is ruthless and insane, and now apparently indestructible. <sighs> but first things first, Figure out where Hammerhead is hiding. The question is, what are we gonna do when we find him? Hey, MJ. I'm following the police to an Oscorp plant. Sounds like Hammerhead's guys are at it again. Got any updates on Yuri? Nothing yet. You miss her, don't you? Yeah. We were a good team. I mean, not like me and you, but, you know. I know. So listen, I've got a source at Oscorp. They're ramping up production of this Project Olympus equipment, which is probably why Hammerhead's men are attacking that plant. The Olympus contract is for Sable International, part of a deal she made with Osborne during the Devil's Breath Crisis. And I just learned it's all supposed to be shipping overseas to Simcaria. Simcaria? Silver Sable's home country. And also the site of an increasingly bloody civil war. Have you heard about this? No, I'm not really caught up on international news. I've been a little busy with our own war here in New York. It's a hell of a story. I'll fill you in when we have more time. Yeah, it'd be nice to talk about something other than Hammerhead for a while. What do you think about taking a vacation when all this is over? Vacation? I'm not sure I know what that word means. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. But seriously, we both need it. I'll start doing some planning. Let me know what happens at that Oscorp plant. Will do. I'll be honest, I was, I, I've actually been following the cop cars to see if they were going to the mission, and it looks like they actually are. I was also trying to land on one, because I didn't want to web swing. I just wanted to mess around. You probably noticed that. Let's see if I do it. <gasps> Let's go! Teamwork! Take me to the mission! <laughs> hey! What the f- What happened? You clipped the car! I hope you at least leave a note. I put this on their insurance. <laughs> I know you guys don't like me, but that was just rude. Off. I love those. It's my turn. Do y'all want some fancy armor, dude? Armor is cool and all, but I kind of miss seeing your desperate attempts at 70s gangster fashion. Kill the cop and Spider-Man. You guys get right to the point, don't you? I'm gonna be quiet because I know this is one of my favorite bits. I I literally saw it earlier. It was really funny. So are you guys all friends outside of work or just co-workers? You know, maybe your whole organization has gotten too big too fast. You might not even know each other. If that's the case, let me introduce you. Vinny, this is Vinny. Vinny, Vinny. Why is nobody laughing? Wait, maybe you're not laughing because you guys really are all named Vinny. If that's the case, nice to meet you, Vinny. And Vinny. And all you other Vinnies. I just love the Vinny bit. There's, there's some really funny bits in this. 
It's also funny because it can't, it's something that carries over from the last from the last bit of DLC. All right, time to keep punching and kicking, and he's unconscious. Spider-Man! Let's play Save the Pigs. Well, that's just rude. <laughs> Jetpack guy does not have good intentions with that police officer. Better find him. Oh, hello, ambush guys. Where'd your buddy go? No one's talking, huh? Maybe you just can't hear me over the sound of those jetpacks. This is it. Let's take him down. Cool jetpacks, guys. Where do I get one? Let me guess. Go off the back of the truck, right? You know, instead of stealing everything, you guys should try making your own stuff. It's much more emotionally rewarding. Maybe you wouldn't be so angry all the time. What? I I like that other... There's like been some weird pauses in Pierre's dialogue, this DLC. I don't know if anyone else noticed it. There was one earlier when he said... Uh, when he was talking about, No one laughs at my jokes. Or, like, he was like, why aren't you laughing? There's just some odd pauses in the dialogue in, in this deal, piece of DLC specifically. There's one moment in particular where it's really noticeable, though. We're not going to get to that this episode, but I do want to point it out. Having fun yet? <laughs> Hey, hey, hey! Come closer. I dare ya! Now, is that just a regular dare or a double dog dare? Is that yours? No. But it would be so awesome if it was. You okay? Yeah. yeah. Long time no see. Who do you work for? <laughs> he works for Hammerhead. Where is this Hammerhead? Whoa, whoa. Can't we, like, go grab a coffee and catch up like normal people? By the way, I love your new hovercrafty thing. Tell me everything you know. Yeah, I talk a lot better without a gun in my face. You have three seconds. Just put the guns down. One. We really gonna do this? Two, six, nine, eleven, eight, seven, three. You don't say, well, this is far worse than talking. We could just sit down, have a conversation. We're adults. Can we do some relaxing breaths? In, out, in, out. Tell me where to find Hammerhead. I wish I knew. But if we stop punching each other, maybe we can work together. Together? Never. What did I do wrong here? Wait, have you been listening to Jameson's podcast? You are supposed to be the protector of this city. And yet you have allowed this. Please stop flipping me. <laughs> you what happened to you I thought you were a good guy I am good at what I do but I am not a guy lost in translation I guess ah! <sighs> what happened that you can thank me by not dying I think that went well. Hey, MJ. So guess who's back in town? Silver Sable. I know. How did you know that? It's my job to know things. So I imagine she's here to stop Hammerhead from stealing all her shipments. Which is good. Maybe you guys can team up. Yeah, that doesn't feel very likely at this point. Well, listen, I'm gonna keep looking into the Simcaria story. It's... <laughs> That conversation was going nowhere! 
screwball? How did you... Quick! Head to 8th and Pearlman before me and my fans die of boredom! Ah, uh, what is she up to this time? Better get there before she hurts someone. Alright, time to go see Screwball. And now, uh, but before we do, uh, we gotta change our suit, dress to impress. Uh, so I've been doing this whole thing. Uh, I've been showing off like all the movie suits while dealing with Screwball lately. But I ran movie suits to show off, so she gets the bag suit. Alright, let's go. I, th I think we're in our uh, Sunday best for this. I think our fans will really like this one. Not even wearing the right logo. The mask being a bag. I, th I think she'll like this one. Wait, I'm leaving the mission. I didn't realize I was at the mission. Where's the mission? 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 Oh, here we go. Up. Wow, her budget's really gone up. That ad revenue's really uh, kicking in, huh? Even her projector's improved. I think. I can't really tell if that's better or worse. Better projectors, worse background. Arachnid. Ready for season three? Not really. Aw, turn that frown upside down. We're bringing joy to millions of fans. In fact, I've got big plans this season. If we hit 50 million followers, I'll throw an exclusive party for my loyal fans. Huge party, huh? Sounds like the perfect opportunity to shut her down once and for all. Better keep playing along until that party. I like how she doesn't believe that I'm not ready for uh, this, despite the fact that I'm wearing a goddamn paper bag. The party IRL. Oh no! She's rubbing off on me. I have to get her behind bars before I turn into someone I hate. Can I just sneak up on the pigeons here? I am one with the pigeons. I am one with them. This has no relation to anything else that's going to happen in this episode. I just really wanted to stand with these pigeons. They were totally cool with me, and I don't know why. I think it's the bag. I'm in disguise. They don't think I'm Spider-Man. Hey, Spidey! You know what blows? Half the city if you don't find all the bombs! Ha <laughs> ha! I really need to shut this stream down. But first, bomb duty. Screwball's fans are out of control. Man, the budget for season 3 really is big. First this nice set, and now explosives! She managed to get a pyrotechnics budget! Not in a good way! Huh. Ah, damn it. I didn't break these well. Time to do a photobomb! Just gotta... Just gotta slam this against the goddamn wall. That's a safe way. That's a safe way to uh, detonate explosives. All right, uh, next one's over here. Gotta go. Gotta move fast. God, this is such a waste of time. I I need to ground sh strike closer. Well, you basically did leave out on plain sight. You got branded boxes. Speaking of, speaking of which, can I get one at the rap party? I deserve at least some of the props. I was the main cast. God, I did again. Wait, is that the bomb? That is so the bomb. Alright, let's get going. Hup. Oh, this one's on the move, I can tell. Man, she even got an automotive budget. God, the budget really is improving. And yet, I'm still not seeing any cut for this. I feel like uh, there should be some sort of actor strike for this. I mean, I am being treated unfairly. 
in the sense that I am dealing with uh, live explosives, and there was 100% not a safety meeting. And I probably got the lowest score on this. Well. You got hey, MJ. Sorry we got cut short earlier. I had to deal with Screwball. Again. You seem to have a lot of women in your life lately. And all of them challenging. Except for you, of course. Huh. You don't think I'm challenging? Uh, no. Unless you want me to think you're challenging. In which case, you, uh, to challenge me. In all the right ways. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Okay, I'll keep looking into Hammerhead's plans, and I'll call you when I find something... challenging. In the meantime, I'll swing around the city and do some spidey stuff. Such as the mission that's gonna pop up here in like 10 seconds. Give it just a bit. Give it just a bit. Give it just a bit. I'm sorry, it's gonna pop up. Just give it a second. Come on, police scanner. I know you're gonna do it. I know what you're gonna do. Please. All units, report a truck driver in distress. Financial district. Could be Hammerhead's guys. Better check it out. You know, I did not know it was gonna appear in front of me, but it really made me look better by the fact that I stopped at the perfect to topic, talking at the perfect time for that. And also was already heading in the right direction. Made me look way better. Because God knows I need to look better than I do. I, uh. I mean, especially after that screwball mission. Open up. Or we'll open it for you. Leave me alone. Gotta get to that driver before they do. Hey guys, I'm pretty sure you didn't lock your keys in the car. Spider-Man! I told you he'd show up! Watch out! It took more guys were on the way! Alright guys, where are you? Oh, I see. You just wanted to make sure that I thought I won for a moment. Had a couple guys just waiting around the corner. Down you go. You know, I know I give... Way too much advice to criminals, but I mean, come on. You guys could have just broken the window. This is why you don't get the good suits. This is why you get the pa the paper bag. You're not smart enough to break a goddamn window. He's about to shoot me. I'd prefer if you didn't. Break your face. Break your face. Whoa, that was that was kind of cool. Just the last second dodge there. Yep. Kick. There are a lot of you. Are all of you really necessary to break into one truck? I mean, granted, there's always a chance that Spider-Man will show up, but like, is that why you guys always bring so many guys? Because there's just a chance of me. No, honestly, I'm a bit flattered. Though, next time, maybe bring more guys. Oh, don't. Uh, second thought, stop listening to me. I don't want to fight you. Like, can't we just, like, talk this out? I know. Are you guys in for Italian? I know great Italian. Hey, the police. These guys sure are serious about stealing Sable Tech. Well, they're Freedom serious about leader. everything, to be honest. Thanks, Spider-Man. I love... <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Just the cat... Just them casually getting out of the car and then, like, whipping out their guns. Hey, MJ, what's up? Hammerhead guys are hitting an Oscorp shipping facility near Seaport. Got it. I'm headed there now. Question for you. We knew Hammer had stole most of the Sable weapons already and a bunch of equipment from police lockup. Now he's stealing Sable tech that's bound for Simcaria. Where is he putting all this stuff? No idea, but if we can find out where, we can cut off his supplies. I'll try to cross-reference his men's activity with the city map. See if I can't nail down a location. Good plan. Hey, so I've been reading up on the situation in Sakaria. There's a ruling dictator attacking his own people. Apparently Silver Sable's been working alone to arm the rebels and fight back, but she's losing. Sounds like she could really use the stuff Hammerhead is stealing from her. Explains why she's so angry and desperate. Maybe. But I also think that angry is just her default emotion. I'll let you know what I find at the shipping facility. Whoop. Well, 
Well, with the way he said that last line, he definitely was not like out of because usually there's like different versions of each line depending on uh what you're doing at the time. But he 100% was not that was 100% not uh not the right one. That was just like his idol way of saying it. He should have still been putting effort in. I want to check something out real quick. I don't think I've checked out over here much. I want to see something. Hey Peter, uh, just checking in. You busy? Sort of. How are your assignments coming? You mean school assignments or spider assignments? Both. But school comes first. I'm all caught up on school stuff. Working on spider assignments now. But why are you making me do physics and calculus equations? Shouldn't I be practicing with web shooters and gadgets and stuff? Okay. Quiz time. If a pendulum is 40 meters long and attached at a 45 degree angle, how far will the pendulum fall at its lowest point? 11.72 meters. But why does that matter? It matters a lot if you're the pendulum. What? Oh! Wait, so you do all these equations in your head, like, while you're swinging through the city? I have to. And so will you, if you want to get good at it. Wow. I had no idea. All right. I guess I'll get back to it then. For some reason, I was like, maybe the last photo op is the Statue of Liberty, even though I already took a picture of it. I have no... If you're curious, uh, what I wanted to check out was I was pretty sure that last building, that glass building we passed, was the Baxter building. I was like, maybe that's the hidden photo op. It was not, in fact, the Baxter building. And before we end this episode off, we're going to do one more screwball mission. In our uh, Sunday's best... As long as it's not a gadget challenge, I think I'll be fine. My fans have been looking for a troll whose avatar looked awfully like a Spider-Man suit. Ah, I need to put these guys back behind bars for good. Guess it's time to swing the band hammer. I see you guys are looking for Spider-Man. Uh, he's not here. I just happen to be a member of the Fantastic Four. Live! Oh, quick, say something controversial! Uh, I want to see if we can boost our traffic! Smoke Monster 42 asks, can we do another photobomb? Uh, you bet we can! Uh, say something controversial. Uh, Tony McGuire and Andrew Garfield aren't gonna be in No Way Home. Hammerhead guys! Why did it have to be Hammerhead guys? Seriously, does anyone else want to hear the conversation that Hammerhead and Screwball had? Like, it can't just be me. I want to know what that, how that went. I can't even, like, begin to picture it. Because I have to think of, like, Keith Silverstein and, uh, Keith Silverstein's voice talking to, uh, this very hyperactive internet girl. XX before the dawn XX writes, this show is peak internet. Uh, this is your idea of peak internet? Violence? Bip. Bap. Even more of my fans! Aww, you really do make a gal feel admired. What's with the southern accent? J-j-j-j-jetpacks! Get your filters ready! It's photobomb time! Uh, let me take this guy down. Ah, uh, damn it. What? I'm just gonna do this real quick. Just beat some guys down. I will admit, I find screw so a lot of Screwball's dialogue really, f really uh, funny. But also, it can get a little annoying. Also, she asked if I was a professional photographer. Uh, yes, I'm very good at taking selfies. When you truly think about that's all Peter Parker does, it, 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 like, it sets in more and more that he really does just, uh, take selfies and sell them. Peter Parker was an influencer before influencers were influencers. You're 
Are there still more people coming? God. Where, where's my backup? I'm wearing the Fantastic Four suit. They should be able to help me out. At least Johnny. Or Ben. Or anyone. I'll take one person, please. Tony? Steve? Bruce? Okay, maybe not Bruce. Ah, this guy has a minigun. Maybe, maybe yes, Bruce. Oh, God! Okay, I take it back. I want Bruce. I want Bruce! Zap. My gadgets were off. Come on, Spider-Man! You're slower than a dial-up connection! Well... I couldn't do a zappy. Still really want to know how the conversation went. Hey kid, I heard you're trying to kill Spider-Man. Oh, I'm just trying to get some nice views in. Well, I'll not lend any of my guys for you. As long as you're willing to hurt him. Something like that. And then there was like a lot of internet lingo that uh, Hammerhead didn't understand because he's old and, and stupid. Do has a metal plate in his head. He's not the brightest. Oh, I think I'm in love. Uh, I'm a taken man, Screwball. Plus, I, plus you're a taken woman. Ollie has laid claim. Kick. Yes. I feel, like, I feel like she didn't listen to me the first time. When I died. And then reset time. You know, like how all comic book things go. Every death is technically canon. It's just that because this is a comic book game, uh, you get revived and come back each time. The sad part is how much sense that honestly makes. Yet... <laughs> The universe resets. If this was a DC game, I could just say Superboy Prime punches a hole in time every time I die. Kick. What was like uh, the major reset event for uh, for Marvel? Because I'm pretty sure both Marvel and DC had like a major reset event at some point. I know a lot about both cannons, but I will admit, I think I know a little bit more about DC. Not even because I'm a bigger DC fan, I honestly like uh, Marvel more. Marvel always felt like a bit more grounded than DC did. Plus, I was never the biggest Superman fan. I think it was a. I think the way I always play is I really like what he stood for, but I never liked how powerful it was. And I think that's how, something a lot of fans can agree on with uh, Superman. He's he's just really overpowered. So much so that they keep having to dial him back. Let me talk about Superman. This is a Spider-Man game. He's not gonna show up. Oh, that was bad timing. Got put. What are those that keep... I keep hearing beeping and something flying through the air. What is that? Zappy, zappy. Punchy, punchy. You guys look like discount rhinos now. Store brand rhino. I always prefer the original. What are these? They're not like rockets. What, what the hell are they? Oh, they're the sky things. The sky field things. Wow, I died and still managed to get a perfect. Yes! My subscriber count has never been higher! Good for you. I mean, can you at least, like, link my Twitter? And, like, like no joke. P Peter has a Twitter. He has a Twitter. Can you link it? Like, at least put it in the... I have I have double the fan she has. She only had 10 million followers. I have 28. I have almost triple. I just noticed that. Dude. We actually... No wonder she wanted to work with us. Alright. With 
with uh, that in mind, I now I feel like we're just being used for a follower count. How rude. With that in mind, I think that's a good place to call the episode. Thank you for watching this episode of Marvel Spy Man. If you liked this part, leave a like that you did. If you really like to subscribe for more like every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, check out Lean Blind, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. If you want a stream that doesn't involve uh, the possible death of everyone's favorite superhero, then go check out my streams, twitch.tv at the real game hero. Slash the real game hero. Is a failure. It's for you too. You might think this would make me happy, and to some extent, you'd be absolutely right. But today, I am tired. Tired of all the senseless violence continually afflicting our streets, which that mass menace failed to put an end to. He failed to stop Hammerhead and his men, who are now using stolen Sable International weaponry to wreak more havoc than ever. And speaking of Sable, Miss Abuse of Power herself is back in New York, this time aboard some kind of fancy schmancy gunship. Where was that when the city was cowering under the terror inflicted by Martin Lee and Otto Octavius, huh? Collecting dust in a Centaurian warehouse? It's a shame she and Spider-Man couldn't have done us all a favor and just taken each other out. Even when you... So wait, you always want the police to, uh, do the job, do their jobs, but now that, like, they're, they're not able to and it's, like, gotten out of hand... You're still blaming me that it's a, that things are out of hand? So you blame me if things are going wrong? You blame me if things are going right? What isn't my fault? Jonah's success. Technically that is too. I took the pictures. Anyway, follow me on Twitter at the real game here. Follow my producer at Alinks or at Alinks underscore. I have been the game here, and I'll see you all next time. Laters! Jonah's a prick.